Hello, this is Mr. G. And I'm Zombacat. This is our review of the Mayfix Suicide Squad Harley Quinn action figure. Now, unless I'm forgetting something, I think this is my first Mayfix figure that I ever got. And the main reason I really wanted this is because it's... It looks like it's better in some ways than the figure art version. And probably the figure arts version is better in some ways too. That was based on pictures and everything. But I really want to compare them because it just, I don't know. I really like this version of Harley. And I just want to get it. But <laughs> you can see in the box, very Suicide Squad movie style with the coloring and everything. Looks pretty cool. But what is this, number 33? I don't know, how, I don't know much about Mayfex. Medicom toy. I don't know. <laughs> Let's open this up. <laughs> okay, so we opened her up and briefly looked over her. And so far, I think she's pretty cool. Other than some weird things that happen with her articulation at certain spots, I think she's pretty awesome. Uh, her articulation seems to be really, really good, though. Even though in certain positions, like I said, it looks weird. But the detail on this thing is amazing. It is really nice. <laughs> And she comes with a lot of accessories. And also, a stand. Kind of a big stand. Well, she doesn't really need it. She stands pretty damn well. Yeah. Maybe certain positions if you want to get her into. So she comes with other accessories too, besides the stand. She's got her bat. She's got her little mallet. An extra head with a different expression. A gun. And three hands for her left arm. And two hands for her right arm. And I think... This other gun comes out, does it? Maybe not. Yeah, so she has another accessory up there. Unless that's fake. It's fake. <laughs> Never mind. Well, that's probably why she comes with the other. Oh yeah, you just. Oh yes, yeah, so that's You just cool. take it out and she can hold the other one. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's cool. It'd be dumb if she had it in there and she was holding it. Yeah, that's cool. That's better than it not being removable, like the multiverse version. Mm-hmm. Usually we go over the figure more before we do comparisons, but I really wanted to compare these two because there was I've been look, looking at pictures of them for so long, and I'm thinking they both look pretty damn good in a lot of ways. So that's why I really wanted to compare them. There's but, different things I prefer about each one. Yeah, but I'm thinking this one is winning for me. Like there's so oh, much yeah. it's that's better about this one. I wasn't expecting that. I thought this one would end up being the better one, but yeah, like. Lots of things, like the bat even, like, there's all that writing on the bat, and it's not on that one at all. And the glossiness of her jacket, because she has a real glossy jacket in the movie, and this one is, this one's flat, most, well, mostly flat, and this one's, like, real nice and glossy, like it should be. Her undies are shinier, too, because weren't they, like, they basically look like sequin pants. Yeah, and these are, they actually have a texture on this one, this one has no texture. Mm-hmm. The belt's a separate piece on this one, which is kind of cool, because it can adjust with the articulation. The boots seem to be painted better, more accurate on this one, the Mayfex one. I think her legs are slightly better, too, because even though the pantyhose still aren't great, the fishnets, at least you can actually see her leg tattoos, because yeah. on the other one, they're just smudges. Yeah, they're just, it does not look good. That was the one thing that really bothered me about that when we got it, is I'm like, they we're gonna do this, they should have just not even put them on. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the top of the shirt, I think that's more accurate, isn't it? The way they did that red, where it splits to red to white. Yeah. This one is just like a straight line. Daddy's Little Monster words are, they're not the, exactly the same, but I'm really not sure which one's more accurate there. I'd have to see a picture of her, I don't know. Uh, as for the face, both of these expressions are similar, but uh, I don't know, I guess it could be your preference which one you like better, but I, I kind of like this one better. Me too. There's some things about this one that make it look a little more real, a little more alive, but this one I think just is done better. I don't know how to explain it. The hair looks better, I think, and I don't know. It's, it's, the other one looks slightly more realistic, but it's also kind of blurry. Sort of. Yeah, it is blurry. It's just like the the technique they used for painting them. I forget what you said it was. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think you know like, either, but it's like some weird kind of painting. It makes it look pixelated. Yeah. 
And it actually is messed up if you look closely. Like there's a mess up in her eye. I showed that off in the review. One thing that I think is a little bit better about this one is the shirt. Like the white part of the shirt looks a little better than this one. This one looks kind of cheap Yellow. in comparison. Yeah, and just the sculpting of it. Mm -hmm. Where the holes are and stuff doesn't look as good and the stitching doesn't look as good. And the, like the shape of her torso looks a little bit more realistic on the old one. Yeah, this one's a little different. Um, it still looks good though. Oh, another thing I like about this one is the scale because figure arch is short. I like the scale to be a little bigger and this one's a little bit bigger. So that's cool. Another thing you notice was a little more detail on the jacket for this one too. Like you got the gold going along down here. It's mm -hmm. not even on this one. And the collar up here too. Yeah. She's got tattoos on, on her lower back there, but this one, her shirt's covering it, so it doesn't that's not really something. You can see they got very different looking joints there. The figure arts one has a slightly better looking butt. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> just, I think it's just because the way they did the articulation, because on the, the Mafex one, when you move her around, her butt and thighs can kind of look a little bit funny in some positions. Yeah. I think there's better articulation on this one. With the... With the yeah, there is. Mm. But when it's straight, it looks better on this one. Because that doesn't look as nice as that. The I, I personally, though, I don't really care about the joints looking funny like I mean sometimes they look really horrible and that bothers me but uh, for the articulation on that one I think it's a fair trade-off for them to not look quite as nice because they move better yeah. there's the guns they both got the gold on there but yeah like you said that they got the design on the handle this one doesn't seem to have it on this one the bracelet is like a separate piece they can move around this one is sculpted on yeah, the, the hair is different. Without looking at pictures, I think this one is more accurate. I like the way it looks better, even if it's not more accurate. Yeah, I mean, it is significantly different. I mean, she has the strands here and over here, but here they're thin and wavy. These ones are straight. And this hair, the pigtails here are a little more wavy and they're a little more straight over here and longer. So they are different. Well, we just looked up pictures and it seems like this one's bangs are more accurate than this one, but it could just be from different scenes. I don't know. It's hard to tell. The picture we looked at, this is more accurate with the hair. Yeah, but then you look at this picture and the other one's more accurate. Yeah. With the bangs. I think it's. I think these might just be two different versions from different parts of the movie. Yeah, they're both accurate. I think this must be later in the movie. This one and this is earlier because also her face paint isn't so isn't rubbed off yet yeah we looked at more pictures and this seems to be more from the beginning of the movie and this is more towards the end her hair is a little more messed up her makeup's rubbed off she's already seen some shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that makes sense yeah I uh, still like the, the crisper look better on the Mayfax yeah uh, the collar just collar on this one seems a little big but I don't know they look about the same size. I mean, you just mean like loose? Yeah, it looks bigger and more oh, loose yeah. than that one. Um, another thing I noticed is this one's got the Lucky You tattoo on the stomach. There's nothing on this one. So I don't know why. There's they... like a gray spot. Like they thought about painting it. Maybe <laughs> it's like her leg tattoos and it just didn't go on right. I guess. And the Mayfix gloves are shiny just like the jacket. And they're not shiny just like that jacket on this one. Okay. So I switched the heads. These are also similar heads here. That they both come with just sort of a smile. There's a little more detail on the face on this one, like the sculpt of it, like just a sh like the lines around her mouth and cheeks. But still, this one I think I don't know. It just looks a little more clean. Like Zombie Cat was saying, this one's like kind of blurry looking in a way. But no, uh, they're still both good. The heart you can really see a lot better on this one. Hey, they got the tattoo on this one's face. Mm -hmm. But not on this one. As for accessories, they are both good in their own ways. Figure Arch comes with three different expressions, which is really cool. Although this one's kind of boring, because it's just mm -hmm. plain face. But it's still cool there's three different heads. Uh, they both come with a bat, they both come with a gun. 
Only this one comes with a mallet, so that's cool. Only this one comes with a stand. This one has four different hands for the left arm, and this one has four different hands for the right arm. Yeah, they have equal amount of hands, just yeah, three one's for different. these, three for those. <laughs> well, I do kind of like these hands. They make a lot of good poses. These these ones don't have. This one doesn't have hands like that. So that's one thing cool about this one. Mm -hmm. She can ban a white some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this one's like, it's only got the two heads, but I, I don't know. I think the expressions are both really good, so really this one doesn't count. It's really these two heads that are the cool ones, which are the same as these two heads, basically. The other difference is the gun, you, you just stick the gun into the holster. You don't have to have that separate piece. It goes in real easy, too. And it's not... So I, don't, I don't know why they couldn't just do that with this one instead of having that separate thing. It might be because you can see the holster more in this one. They yeah. don't want it looking too bulky. I don't like that. I mean, the only real difference in that is if you're worried you'll lose the extra piece. Yeah, that, that doesn't, doesn't, really matter. Matter. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Yeah, you're right about that. Another little detail is the Mafex version has her fingernails painted. And the uh, figure arts does not. Just a small thing, though. So there they both are next to the multiverse Suicide Squad figure of Harley, made by Mattel. And I'll say first that this is $20, so it's cheaper than these two. So sh these two should be more quality. But still, I think this one's at $20 is a little too much for this. I think this figure should have been like 10 based yep. on the quality of it. I don't think it's very good. It bothered me. I actually rebought this just to do comparisons with because I bought it, didn't like it, took it back. And I seen it recently again and bought it because I knew this one was coming and I wanted to compare because I didn't get to compare it to this one other than with pictures. He told me, he's like, I think I'm going to get this one again to do comparisons with. And I'm like, whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you don't have enough fucking Harleys. <laughs> But I mean, if you don't want to pay like fifty to sixty dollars, whatever for a figure, forty, whatever. I don't know what they are. These two, you only want you twenty is okay. Then I can understand getting this one. I just I don't like it. But still, it you can see the difference here. That one just looks like bleh. I really don't like the neck, the chest area. It's just, ugh. It's, just it's just compared to. Two toys that are so fucking well done, it really makes that one look a lot worse. I think the thing is, like, if Marvel Legends made this, I think they, their figure would look better and it would be the same price. Like, Marvel Legends wouldn't look good as, the, as good as these either, but it, I think it would look better than this. And there's the back. You can see the jacket. It's definitely lower quality on this one. Yeah. Really, the the fishnet part, they all had the same idea. Just to not paint them, just sculpt them on. And I guess that was all their idea of how to make that look best. I don't know. Still think well, they could have used maybe some real tiny fishnet and just stuck it on there. But... Yeah. Well, I guess we go over articulation. Start off with her hair, which could spin around, which is cool. I like that it can do that. Then up at the neck, it can spin around. Do a little tilt. So that's cool. Then up at the shoulders. The shoulders, I think there's really good articulation there, but it gets a little confusing because you gotta turn it and twist it in certain ways to get it to work. But yeah, you got to spin all around there. There's a hinge joint. And I think, yeah, they can go back and forth a little bit like that. Double jointed elbows. Although it looks like it should go further than that, but it just kind of stops. Then the wrist, it could spin, and there's a hinge joint. Is there a hinge joint? I think there is. Yeah, there is. That is kind of disappointing for double jointed elbows. Yeah, I don't know. It's just one. Yeah, I don't know why it stops there. It doesn't seem like it should. But then at the torso, there's more articulation than most figures here, because most figures can't do that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, they could spin a little bit there, go back and forth, then down here. The shirt 
also has some articulation. So that's I think that's why that works. Got the shirt and under the chest all moving. Then at the hips, pretty good articulation there. But here's where the most of the problems with the way it looks happen is at the hips. When you go like that, it gets kind of weird. She can't really kick out too straight. But she's got a butt hook. <laughs> yeah. But the articulation's good. It's just. It just gets weird. Show her with her leg back. Like the, that. That was the thing that I'm like, mm, that don't look good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's like multiple points of articulation in the hips, so it. That's you can get some crazy things going on there. It's still pretty damn good. It's just if you try to get extreme with it, it looks a little funny. That's yeah. all. It's got the double jointed knees, which are very good. You can't get too much better than that, because even a real person can't do much better than that. She can kick her own ass. Yeah. That's all I ever asked for. <laughs> then down at the ankles. Spin right there. It's like, well, I don't know what that is. Ball joint or... A, I can't tell if there's a hinge. Seems like there's a hinge. And it spins. So, yeah, the articulation is really good on this. I think it is better than figure arch, but... That's hard to compare. You'd have to watch yeah. the figure arch review. And the figure arch articulation is really good. It's not... They're both really good. Yeah. I guess I'll just go over this, but... Yeah, there's a joint there, joint there. And then that can spin, I think. Yeah. And it hooks on. So that's and cool. there's three different spots you can put it into on the stand. Yeah. See the little holes down there. So that's cool. So you can even have her, like... Maybe jumping up to hit somebody with a mallet or baseball bat or something. I don't know. If you want to mess around and do that. Well, well maybe not, because I don't know if it's... <laughs> maybe this is just for standing, because it doesn't seem to want to hold her into the air very well. Oh, there, there you go. Oh. Nope. <laughs> That's how you nope. try to move it. This just must just be for standing poses. What if you put it straight up? Hmm. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I guess that works. Ah! <laughs> She's about to fucking body slam somebody. <laughs> there she's falling out of the sky. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> now here is the usual DC collectibles scale. And it is a little bit taller than her. But I could see these two these it's, it would be believable to see these two people standing next to each other. I mean that height yeah. difference. So I could say they're they're about the same scale, which is cool because this could go with most of the other superhero figures I have because figure arts and the icon series are just a little too short to go with anything else. Yeah, it looks like the classic Harley is like two inches taller than her, probably maybe yeah. three, probably two. Two inches to them. Yeah, not to, to not them. And <laughs> two inches in scale. Duh. Duh. You're still. No, we didn't really look at the tattoos up close. But yeah, you can actually read what they say on this one. It's like, I love my pudding. Pudding. I'll wait forever. And a bunch of maybe crossing off days or people she killed or something. So I don't know what that one says. Let let me tell you a... I don't know what is this. It doesn't look like a secret. Let me tell you a secret, I think is what that says. Is it about pudding? Probably. <laughs> Is it about Mr. J? Probably. So yeah, I really do like this one. I think it is better than the figure arch one in most ways. I'd say 90% of the different things you'd compare, it would be better on this one, I think. Most of them only slightly. Yeah. But some of them buy a lot. The, if you have a figure arch, I don't know if I would say you should buy this one too. Because, because of the price. So if you have the figure arch already and don't know if you really want to buy a new one, then I'd say the figure arch is still really good. Cause but I, if you have the money to spend and you want the best one, then this uh, one's probably a little better. <laughs> or if you haven't decided which one you wanted, I'd say go with this one. If yeah. you're trying to decide between the two, I'd say this one's better. But still, lots lots of this is like preferences. There's yeah, certain, certain... definitely personal preference and you've gotten to see them next to each other, so you pick. Yeah, I like the paint on this one, but like on the jacket and everything, and I don't, I don't know, I just really like this one. There's so much going on. 
Something else that I noticed while posing them together is it's easier to get the figure arts into like a sexier pose than it is the Mafex. Like there's just something a little bit sexier about the shape of the body of the figure arts. There's, I don't know, there's just, it's just easier to get the figure arts into a really cool looking pose than it is for the Mafex. You can still do it, it's just more difficult with the Mafex, I think. It comes with a mallet too, which is nice, because the other one doesn't. The bat has a lot more detail on it. It comes with a stand, but honestly, I don't really care about this stand. I don't really like it. Me either. <laughs> if I use it for anything, it'll probably be for some other figure. Somebody who needs to be flying. <laughs> yeah. And she comes with two different heads, which they're both really good. I like both expressions. I don't know. I, just really, I think she's really good. Articulation is amazing. It's, pr <laughs> it's probably better than the uh, figure arch one. But figure arch is still good too. I would say she's probably in my top four favorite Harleys. <laughs> I don't know. She probably she probably be number three or four, maybe. I don't know. We really we do. have so many. We need to do a top ten Harley <laughs> video. <laughs> top ten. I think top ten is too many. Top five. Maybe. You do a fucking lot of Harleys. I know. <laughs> well, this is Mr. Jim Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Harley. What you got there, Harley? Oh, a little baseball bat. Do you think that's gonna scare me, Harley? <laughs> oh, I don't know, Mr. J. But maybe you should look behind you. What? Better not be a trick, Harley. What? Two more Harleys. What's going on? And you got a baseball bat and you got a mallet. Uh, I, I just remembered that I left the TV on and, and the neighbors downstairs don't like that because it's so loud. Ah, I gotta go turn that off. Harley, uh, don't forget. Well, what is going on here? Three Harleys with weapons. Uh, I, uh, I just remembered that I left my uh, my chip my, my chips on the floor. I, I, I don't, want, don't want the cat to eat it. I mean, I mean, not that I don't feed my cat, I, 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 I don't, I, I want them potato chips and he should eat cat food. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh, damn it!